Sports Center All Night. Chris Lewis with you on ESPN Radio. News from Sports Center All Night Nation. Just hit us up on the Dr. Pepper call in nine. 888 say ESPN. Back to the hardwood. Big game for Trey Young as the Hawks explode. And you have five minutes to go in the third. Trey with a long three. It's good off the glass. Trey Young just banked it in, and he's got 31 on the night. Hawks lead 90 to 79. Call on 92 9 the game. Trey Young, 36 points. Helping the Hawks beat the Pistons, 136-112. Young also added 12 assists. 51st career, 30-point, 10-assist game. Most in the NBA since he joined the league in 2018. Magic. First win of the season against Charlotte. Paolo's got 10 boards on the night. 8 points, 10 rebounds, 6 assists. We're on triple-double watch. This is Bancaro, 3 ball up, and that is cash. He says you want to go under the screen, I'm going to make you pay. 113-93, Magic beat the Hornets. You heard it on 96-9, the game. First win of the year for the Magic. Entered 0-5 for the last winless team in the East. And Paolo Bancaro, you heard him score that bucket. 21 points, 12 boards, nine or seven dimes, the sixth player in NBA history to score 20 points in each of their first six games. Last to do it, how about Grant Hill back in 1994? Speaking of teams projected near the bottom of the Eastern Conference, Indiana Pacers get a W. There's a lob inside. Turner caught it down low from Nemhart, missed it, then got his own rebound and finished. 22 points for Turner. Indiana by 14. Two minutes gone, fourth quarter. And Miles Turner scored that one on 1070, the fan. So maybe a lot of Lakers fans keeping eyes on what Miles Turner is doing as the Pacers get the 127, 117 win. Over the Wizards. How about this for the Pacers? All five starters scored at least 15 points, including Miles Turner with 27 points and 10 rebounds. Added five blocks as well. A big first quarter for Indiana. A 22-2 run. And in that game, Lloyd Pierce was coaching in place of Rick Carlisle, who attended a family event. The Jazz beat the Nuggets earlier this season. Second meeting went the way of Denver. Mike has it at the midcourt circle, goes to the left hand. He drives in on Beasley, throws it over to Jordan, back over to Porter, and a three. Smooth. Denver blowing out Utah. They're up by 23. Smooth call on Altitude Radio Network. Michael Porter Jr.'s three-pointer helping Denver win 117-101 over Utah. Bones Highland. Huge game for Denver, 26 points. He made seven threes. That's the most made threes of his young career. Michael Porter Jr. had his first 20.10 rebound game since April of 2021. Bulls on the road in San Antonio. Spurs get it done. 12 to shoot. High post. Pirtle hands it back to Trey. Floater from 14 off the front of the rim. Pirtle, offensive rebound. Out to Johnson. Right wing three. Richardson, though, is going to fake that shot. Go to the corner. Jones for three. Yes, sir. Trey Jones with a tray. From the deep left corner from Josh Richardson. And the Spurs lead at 118-114. W-O-A-I with the call. Spurs 129. Bulls 124. For a team that not many people thought would be even close to the playoff picture, the Spurs, 4-2, and two, their best six-game start to a season since 2019-2020. Yaka Pirtle, 21 points, 13 rebounds. Out West, Suns and Pelicans meeting for the first time since their playoff series a season ago. And just like in the playoff series, the Suns get the win. And the Suns control the rebound and get it up to Chris Paul. Paul out to Cam Johnson for three. Shazam! Directing traffic. That play was made by Landry Shamit. Running hard, taking defenders with him. And Cameron Johnson just filled in in the lane right behind him. Arizona Sports 98-7. Suns 124. Pelicans 111. And those teams met in the first round of the Western Conference playoffs where the Suns won in six games. Mikhail Bridges was big in that series and was important in this game. 27 points, 10 of 13 shooting, 3 of 5 from three-point range. Other NBA score of the night, Trailblazers, 125-111 win over the Houston Rockets. So 
How about Portland now? They improved to 5-1. and one. They have the best record in the Western Conference, their best start to a season since about 10 years ago, 2011-2012. Coming up next, the top sounds of the night, including highlights from the World Series. This is SportsCenter All Night on ESPN Radio.